Now I'm going to talk about, let's talk about not the Clippers, but the other team that's in trouble. Well, I don't want to say they're in trouble. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Inside the NBA with, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Inside the NBA with uh, um, Shaq, Kenny, uh, and uh, Shaq, Kenny, EJ, and Charles. But, but they have a segment called Gone Fishing. That's for people who do not make the bubble. Uh, well, uh, I said the bubble, but do not make the playoffs. And the next team that's going to be on that list are, well, after the Phoenix Suns, of course. But the next team that's going to be on that list will be the New Orleans Pelicans. Because I think it's done. The, their, season, their season at this moment, this present moment, is on life support. The worst, the, the beginning of the end was the them going for the win on Thursday night instead of going for the tie and playing through up playing through the overtime. And it was the worst possible way they could miss, by the way. Brandon Ingram, good shot. And I always I also want to I also want to say say this. Brandon Ingram. People talk about there's right now there's only one star in New Orleans, which is Zion Williamson. Everybody everybody could see that. But Brandon Ingram He's coming. He's the next big thing, man. I don't want to say he's the next best player, but they have there's two superstars on New Orleans. Brandon Ingram, he he he's arrived. He just needs to get better. I think he got a little bit stronger uh, during the quarantine. He uh, when I say he needs to get better, he just needs to be a little bit more efficient. Um Magic Johnson when when, when drafting him said that he's probably going to be the next Kevin Durant. His move set it is. That's that's Kevin Durant Kevin Durant-esque. Efficiency, not it, it, it's not like the Slim Reaper. However, Brandon Ingram is the truth. Watch out for Brandon Ingram, guys. If you guys haven't put respect on his name, put some respect on his name now. With that being said, that his shot goes in and out. The Pelicans lose 106-104, a barn burner. Uh, a game that could have went either way. They did, they did blow a 20, I believe it was about 22-point lead, especially during the third quarter. What, what what did that what like how did they lose that that lead? Like a ball movement, simple as that. Seeing Drew Holiday do an ISO play, seeing each one more do an ISO play, um, seeing seeing players like Jackson Hayes not knowing what to do, seeing things like forcing like screens, not having other options, like re- really stagnant offense is is what I saw and. The Jazz capitalize on that. Now tipping away loose balls, one and done, one, one and done possessions for the New Orleans Pelicans. They get down. Uh, the the Jazz get down to the court, and then also when when when, when it was time, when it was money time, Spider came. That Spider came. That <laughs> that Spider came in Donovan Mitchell. Another another reason why they lost. Which let, let let's talk about some hindsight now. Hindsight says, "Hey, man, Zion should have played more game, uh, more minutes." And uh, and I mean, in the moment too, where you could say that Zion should have played more minutes, I believe Zion should have played way more than fifty minutes. But if we understood how bad of a beating they were gonna get on Saturday, I think Zion Williamson plays extra minutes on Thursday. And efficient. I think in 15 minutes, he had 13 points. Beautiful. But then 14 minutes, he had seven points on Saturday. That's, you know, an outlier for him. But Zion needs to play. I understand the first game, you, you put the minutes restriction on him. But And then even, and then even last game, you put the minute, I guess he put the implement the minutes restriction, even though I guess the Clippers uh, forced your hand. Starting Monday, starting tonight, which is your biggest, th- this game determines if you guys are going to make the playoffs or not. Starting tonight, Zion, Zion needs to play at least 25, 30 minutes. And, 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 and to be honest, that's not a lot. That is not a lot. 30, 25, 30 minutes is average. Is average. Just let him play. Let the dog loose, man. Let that man loose. Maybe you guys see, maybe you guys see something. So the Pelicans lost on a on a in and out shot on Thursday night to the Utah Jazz. They, they blew a twenty two point lead. Yada yada. 
But what was concerning, the reason why I, well, well, also other factors, the Trailblazers winning, the San Antonio Spurs are now in ninth place beating the Memphis Grizzlies earlier today. Well, I guess yesterday. But I I, I still thought it, it could still be a race for Zion and, and the Pelicans. However, Saturday told me another story. Saturday was like, what's cause for pause? They gave up at halftime. They they came out the tunnel the second half, not not really trying to play, just putting up stats for for themselves. I understand you had a barrage happen to you, especially in the well, I, I believe in the first quarter, nine threes went up for for the Clippers. I understand all that, but you got to fight. You need to fight. One of my favorite teams, and I'm gonna get to this segment a little later. One of my favorite teams to watch at this moment. Uh, I guess I guess my favorite my I have two favorite teams in, in in this bubble. One of them is the Houston Rockets. The one thing about the Houston Rockets I love, they're fighting. They know they're under man, they're undersized, but they fight. They scrap for and at every possession, every possession they scrap for the ball. Pelicans, you guys could do the same thing. You guys are younger than the than than the Houston Rockets. To be honest with y'all, you guys you guys can do that, but you guys. Did not do that. So you, so this game, this game on Monday, first of all, it's must-watch TV. Zion versus uh, versus John Morant. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting paid for ES, uh, from ESPN, not yet. But I, ha- I, I have to promote the game. Zion against uh, against John Morant or J.A. Morant, however you guys want to say it. His name is Ja, actually, but whatever. Um, that's big. And to put on the fact that you have a team like Portland, who's which is the to me the best team, who best team fighting for the eighth seed in the West. With they beat you already, uh, the Grizzly Grizzlies. They had a, a amazing game. If it wasn't for a, a Nurkic uh, brain fart, they probably beat the Boston Celtics yesterday. You guys, you guys lost to them, so. Now the pressure's on the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies also lost to San Antonio yesterday. San Antonio now has the ninth place seed due to they had less they have less losses than the Portland Trailblazers. It's a must win for the Grizzlies. It's a must win for the New Orleans Pelicans. Which team will come out more hungry? And I think that I think that answer it will be the New uh, not the New Orleans Pelicans, the Memphis Grizzlies. I seen the Grizzlies do a college uh, play, freaking do a full court press the other day against the 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 the, the Trailblazers. You don't see no full court. The last time you saw a full court press was last year's March Madness, actually. But but it's a big game for both teams. Right now, I think the Grizzlies are just more mentally prepared. I feel like the the Pelicans are a little uh, distraught. There's a lot of turmoil coming going on. Like Zion's not playing. Um, I still feel like there's some residue from, from, from the shot. And then, you know, the Clippers came for y'all. The Clippers did come for y'all. 